All right, guys, we're going to create the next one. Um, so we go to a database. That's the process we'll be taking now. Go to a database. Look at the next one. You should skip migrations. Never run, uh, never scaffold migrations. Skip it. It's a Laravel, it's Laravel that creates this, uh, this um, table for its own use. Then uh, go to nominations. All right. So we go to here. Click up arrow change this to nominations nominations and then right here remember our naming pattern it must start with a capital letter and it must be singular nomination and then we do for the next one the next one is a nomination user not not really necessary but i just want to use it to show you an example of how it is nomination underscore user and um it should be on nomination capital letter user so um i'm showing using it to show you an example normally you don't really need to scaffold your any join table like nomination user but i'm just scaffolding it for for demonstration sake so nomination user so um uh, in the when you're naming the model of a of a word that is um joined by an underscore you just make the next word capital letter right hit enter the next table is um you have nomination user we already have we don't um, scaffold this we don't need it because we're logging in with facebook so there's never a password reset so we we do that for roles So anytime you press the up arrow key on your keyboard, this guy will show up. So we'll do it for roles. Roles. And here, guess what it will be? It's going to be exactly what you expect. Roll. Hit enter. And we're going for the next one. Settings. Up arrow. Settings. Guess what this one will be setting and then we're on users up arrow users user finally we're gonna sort out votings Up arrow votings voting and this sorts 70 let me say 90 percent of our problem because the rest of the things we'll be doing is to hack around the html to look beautiful the way we want it so which means if we get back to our app right now keep your eye on the left here let me just pan to the left Keep your eye on the left here for refresh. You see that it has created all these links for us. And all these links are created in the menu file. So menu file. If we go out to layouts, let me minimize all this. Inside resources, views, layouts. We see menu. If we go to menu, you see that it has created all these menu for us. And also, so if you want to remove or hide anyone, this is where you do it. Then, if you come to routes web, you see that it has created a lot of links for us. Look at it has created all these routes for us, and this is awesome. Okay, so uh, one more thing we should do is to link the user profile. Look at user profile here. There's a profile link here, but it doesn't head to anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. See, it doesn't do nothing. So we're going to link it to user profile. So how we're gonna do it is simple. So we go to where it is. It is in the in layouts resources. Layouts. We are looking for add the blade. Add the blade has um, there is a username created. Then there's a profile somewhere. Look at profile. So we're gonna do this. Um, users. So we create this of user 
and the ID. So once it goes, I'm gonna put another for slash here. So once somebody clicks this, it will take them to user slash the user's ID. Let's see whether that works. We we'll refresh the page. So if I click on my name, click on profile, it takes me to my profile. This is awesome, isn't it? This is awesome. So uh, the rest of the work that is left for us is to come here and start cleaning up all these other stuff. Cleaning it up, okay? Cleaning up everything. Remember that we set the role ID to before by default. That's why it's for here. So we come and clean up everything, all right? Thank you very much. See you in the next video. I hope this whole thing is starting to gradually make sense. And as we progress more and more, it will make more and more sense to you. Thank you very much. See you.